Hi, good afternoon, good day. I'm Nick Javistan, an international speaker and a workplace performance strategist. So I come from Singapore, but Philippines is a bit like my second home. I first came to the Philippines when I was 25 years old. Um, my first experience of mission trip were in uh, Quezon City in Payatas. Uh, I spent three weeks in the school, Paralang Pantao, and that was life-changing for me. I spent the next two years after that becoming a youth missionary in the Philippines and in Padang South Asia. The Philippines is very close to my heart. My father, Derek Tan, is also the general manager of St. Giles Hotel. So he's, he's been managing the hotel for the last 10 years. He's part of the Rotary Club here. So Philippines coming here is not just for work, but also to see my dad. And it feels like a second home to me. So last month I was speaking at the HR Congress and I was speaking on the future of work. So this is a topic, a very hot topic, not just uh, in Philippines, as, but also in Singapore and parts of Asia. Companies are wondering, how can they prepare their people uh, with the technology that's coming in, the hard technology, I call it, but also how do we prepare our people with the hard technology? And so the, in order for companies to do well, you need to be able to increase both the hard sciences of technology to utilize that as well as developing your people. So we need to develop both at the same time. The future of work, how, how can we help companies to thrive and to do well? Well, very simply, use the magic formula. The magic formula stands for M-A-G-I-C. M for meaning. In the future of work, companies will want to create meaningful engagement for the people. And every generation has a different, uh, has a different sense of what work means to them. So fostering a healthy, multi-generational workforce is going to be key for companies uh, comp competition. It's going to be key for a company to do well and to thrive in the future. A is for autonomy and autonomous. The workplace will become much more autonomous with automation and AI taking over some job functions. But the workforce will also want more autonomy. They want to be able to craft their own job descriptions. They want to be able to choose projects of their own. G is for growth. In the future of work, companies will continue to need to grow. How can you help companies grow the best? I for impact. In the future of work, companies who do well continue to have impact for their clients, for their companies in their countries and in the world. Companies who no longer have an impact will be obsolete. C is for connection. In the future of work, companies will continue to have more tech, but people will feel much more lonely. So how can we help our people feel a greater sense of belonging at work? And also, how can we help them form a better connection with technology to increase their productivity? And that is the magic formula. The future of work. Something that every company needs to know. So I'm going to come back next year because the Philippine Business and News uh, is going to organize a, a summit. It's going to be called the Puck Up Your Business Summit. This summit is aimed at HR operations uh, across the different functions in companies. So how will the managers and leaders of today's businesses prepare their workforce and their workplace to thrive for Workplace 4.0 and the Workforce 4.0. So the future of work will be addressed and I'm going to be talking about this at the upcoming summit that's going to be organized by the Philippine Business and News Network. If you haven't subscribed to their website, if you haven't, sus if you haven't subscribed to their Facebook, uh, please go and like it, add on, follow it to get updates about, to get different news, to get updates about what's happening in the business here in the Philippines, but also tips and lessons like this to help you improve your businesses. So join us, go to the website or go to our Facebook page, uh, like us, follow us for updates to know, to know when the summit is going to be happening right here in your country, Philippines. So I'm looking forward to meeting you next year. Thank you all and goodbye.